Hello, my name is Carolina. This is Carolina's Closet. And quick intro, we will be doing this cute little granny square crochet. Um, I use a very thin hook, so 1.75 millimeter hook with a very thin yarn. Um, but you can use this video to do a granny square crochet with any size of yarn. It's a follow along real time. So, you know, grab a cup of coffee, grab your yarn, grab your hook, grab your needles, your scissors, and let's do this. I hope you enjoy. I hope I do a good explanation and I hope I help you out with your projects. Let's do this. Hello. So this is the square that we will be doing and we have the other version. They're the same, but interchangeable and i don't know if you can notice but the green and brown yarn are a little bit thinner than the white one but in the grand scheme of thing things it didn't really make a difference they look the same i used the same hook with all of the yarns and yeah so the hook i'm using is a very tiny hook is a 1.75 millimeter this is why we're so close and this is why i just painted my nails just to make this video because i don't know i want it to be presentable tiny tiny hook and these are the threads so the green the brown whoops brown and the white one it's a little bit thicker i do not know um like what kind like what the brand is it is a hundred percent cotton all of them this one's a, bit, a little bit of like a rustic cotton situation and the green and the brown are just like normal cotton yarn and just for reference this is what a normal embroidery thread looks like in comparison to them so let me just show you the green in comparison to the embroidery thread ah, see it would be, I feel like, if I take one thread out of the embroidery thread, it would be about the same as this green one. That is the same as the brown one. And, yeah. Also, we will be using scissors. I am going to use a normal needle, and that's because this is such a tiny, tiny, tiny um, thread. But, um, you can use this tutorial as a normal like crochet tutorial with a bigger bulkier thread and you would be using a type of tapestry needle and i also will be using a yarn passer i know how you call these but yeah they come in like this they sometimes they come in a little bit smaller these are for um that other kind of needle that we use to make rugs um <laughs> and you pass this through your needle because it makes life's life easier like this and then you grab your thread here but if you're using a big yarn you might not need that also scissors and that's the material so let's start so yarn yay let's do a slip knot this is how let me show you how i do the slip knot i've been doing this squares for ages now i've done more than 200 of them so i came up with a few like little quirks and things that i do and i just found useful but i don't know if you don't do them that's fine so i do my slip knot in the very beginning of the thread just because i don't want to be cutting thread out so i will do it like this so i fold the yarn like this hold it with my fingernail and then i will um get the the tail the long bit and i'll put underneath like this and i will grab my hook and i will get the yarn from the middle and just pull it woohoo and i just um push this one and we are left with a little bit of a tiny tiny um knot loop thing situation this is what we're using so let's start yay um hook through now let's chain six this is how you chain you have your loop here you grab some yarn like this ah you pull it over the needle so one two 
hold it like this and you bullet one chain stitch two chain stitches three four five six i'm using six because this is such a thin thread you might use like four or five i just stick to six it's a good number and then you will grab the tippy top of your hook and you will go through the very first um knot the very first stitch like this see like this it's inside so now we have two things in our hook and then you will ah grab the tail the the yarn and you will hold it here and pull it and now you have a little bit of a hoop loop thing situation this is the center of the gro the granny square granny square so let's start with one side of the square so we um chain three so one two three and this makes it so our needle i i mean our hook our thread everything is at the height that we need and this is the first stitch now we're going to do two double crochets so yarn over hook inside the loop grab the thread over here pull it through push a little bit so it's not like loose ah. and then you grab the yarn again pull it over two and then you have two loops pull it over two yay this is one double crochet let's do it again yarn over pull through get the yarn over here ah lost it got it yarn here <laughs> now we have three loops yarn over again pull through two two loops pull through two yay now we have three stitches over here see you can judge them to the side a little bit <coughs> i'm sorry and now um we will do an edge so you chain three one two three and this will make one edge so now we will just do three more double crochets so yarn over through the middle over here middle get it here on the other side and yarn over through two yarn over through two yay now we have see this is the edge that we just made and this is we're creating the second side so two more yarn over through the loop grab the yarn yarn over through two yarn over through two again yarn over through the center out grab the yarn three yarn over two yarn over two now we created the second side let's do another edge one two three should i call it an edge or should i call it a corner a corner <laughs> now we do it again three double crochets yarn over through the circle out through two, through two, yarn over, center, get the yarn, through two, through two, once more, yay, through two, through two, another corner slash edge, one, two, three, this is how we're looking, let's do it again, the last side, the fourth side, getting my yarns my threads my yarns all mixed up so yarn over through the center grab it on the other side you have three loops pull through two again pull through two yay two more one two yarn over through one two and now we finish off with the last corner this one over here 
chain three, one, two, three, and now you will close it. Let me just grab my yarn that fell. Now you will close it. You will go with your hook inside the very first stitch that we did after the circle. So this one over here, grab it inside like this. See, inside and grab the yarn on the other side, the thread, and you will pull it through like this. And now you have a mini square. This is the very center of our granny crochet squares. Such a long name, like granny crochet squares. A long thing to say. So anyway, now I will be using the same color because if you can tell, our center has two rows and that's because it's very tiny. Okay, so we're using the same color. So we're just walking with the oh, oh my god i'm sorry i was scratching my arm i will just walk with the yarn through all the way to this corner because we usually start in the corner um the next row so for that i will grab the hook i will insert it oh my god i'm so sorry i will insert it here on the next chain on top like this and i'll just grab it and i'll pull it through we walked once, let's walk again. Whoa. Grabbed it. And once more, so we get to the corner slash edge. I was calling it an edge, now I'm calling it a corner. I'm sorry. So we got to the corner, let's do it all again. But now we will add a few um, double crochet. So we're in the corner, chain three, one, two three and then double crochet double crochet so double crochet double crochet one two ah i lost my loops I just have to grab it again don't pull the yarn yay now two now we have this <laughs> now we're creating another corner so one two three and corner so we're doing another tree double crochet so one oh my god one ah two Three, hold it, three, let me just, because my yarn is jumbled, it's not doing great, okay, got it, so we did the three, so we created another little corner, because we're growing our little squares, see, and from here, you see, we have this wall over here, you just create one chain stitch, one, and you do that again. So we're in the next corner. Let's do three, one, two, ah, lost everything. Fear not, just don't pull the yarn. Go through one, two, three, grab everything. I'll just pull the yarn first so that I don't have that happen to me again just a second are you someone who pulls your yarn from the middle or from the outside i really need to know i pull it from the middle anyway sorry three loops go through two go through two once more yes <sighs> lost it again okay i just want to say let's do the corner one two three Again, three double crochets. I just want to say I'm going to talk in this video. It's going to be quite a long video because this square, it usually takes me 40, 40 to 45 minutes to do it and in its entirety. Um, single crochet. And then again, let's do another one of these. It takes me 45 minutes to do it in its entirety. And that's just like me doing it in my time because I'm trying to explain here how to do it. It might take a little while, and I don't want to just, like, slap some royalty free music through the whole, I don't know, like, 45 minutes, hour of this video. 
corner. So I would just talk, but I really don't take offense. If you need to mute me, if you hate my voice, if, you, if you're not interested in whatever I have to say, I don't think I'm interested in what I have to say. Um, but I just want to say that um, once I start blabbing, I might need to talk about the crochet square. So I will put a little sign on screen like this. And that means I will be talking about the granny square itself. So if you're following this along and you're not interested in whatever, you know, shenanigans I have to talk about here, which is not much, uh, you can mute me <laughs> and listen to some good music, some good podcasts. And then if you see the sign, I will be back with some granny square information. But before you mute, before you mute, don't go away because now we're going to the third roll and the third roll is third roll is kind of important because it's like the stepping stone is the one that like sets the scene. So we did all four sides. You can see it's a little square. Corner, 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 corner. And now we have this over here and we're just, you know, you do a slip knot. And you join it like we did with the first one. Over here, you get in and you bust it true, bust it true, pull it on a little bit just so it's not um, loose. So now I'm going to change colors and I just need to say, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm itching my arm. I'm so sorry. Um, I need to say that I came up with a little bit of a technique just because I don't want, I did so many of these, I didn't want to waste yarn. So I will show you how I. Um, weave in my tails as I go on with the square but there's definitely other ways to do it most people cut their yarn quite far away from the square and then they come in with a needle or, or a tapestry needle and loop everything in so usually people would take yarn that is more than the needle so let's say we're using this needle you would cut like around here so that you're able to loop the ends in with ease i don't do that because i don't like wasting thread but that shouldn't be an issue like do what's easiest for you so this is how i do my squares so we're changing colors right now you will so we just you know closed the the square i will loop once more just so it's secure and i will like pull it tight 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 and i'll grab my scissors and I will cut quite close. So this is a little bit risky, but this is what I've been doing. So I cut quite close, see, like very, very close. Be careful to not cut your little square, just the thread. And I cut it. My scissors are not the best today. I just grab another one for the knife. So I just cut and I just left the smallest piece of thread. Sometimes I, I, I leave out like even less than that. Actually, I will take a little bit out. Scary moments, scary moments. Wee! The scissors are bad. I need, I will change scissors just a second. Okay, so very, very <laughs> small piece here. It's tight because I just did an extra loop over there. And that's, you know, it, it doesn't, you can't even see it. You barely see it. And what I do is I weave as I go. So I will get my needle. I will go with the needle through the the square like this careful with your little fingers or your big fingers i don't know if your fingers are big or small i go through like this and then i go all the way close like this so this is where the yarn will go all through i grab my little this and i pull it like this inside and i will get the thread Pull it on like this. Yarn is in the needle. Yay. And now it's in, it's hidden, and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Next color. Yay. So next color for me is white. I just finished my um thing over here. I have only okay. I finished it over here, so I will start in another edge. Just because. 
so I just finished here, I turn it around, I'm starting in the, like another completely different edge. We always start in the edge slash corner. I've been calling it edge, but I think it's a corner. Start it in the next corner. So we grab the next, let me just grab another scissors. So grab the next piece of thread yarn. Do another um, slip knot like we did with the first one slip knot there's other ways of doing slip knot you don't have to use your needle but i just do it Leave a little bit of a tail just a small one so that you're able to do the knot have the knot here and then you go in the edge oh my god oh my god needle through needle i call this a needle but this is a hook hook through i'm sorry about that um Grab your slip knot. Don't let it fall, like I did. So the third row, the third roll is important. So let's follow it along. Get <laughs> the loop. Oh my god, I got so like winded. So you pass it through, hold it very close, and then you will do your three chain stitches. One, two, and three. And now I grab, so like as I go, I pass my uh, my hook in a way that it holds this tail over here. So we just chain three, and now we're doing our two um, double crochet. So yarn over, and see, I go with my yarn through the tail, so like through the tail, like this, and I grab it on the other side, and you will hold the tail within the square. So over pull through two yarn over pull through two and once more grab the tail yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now we have another piece <laughs> let's do the corner one two three another one two ah two one two and one more one two so this um i've got so used to it so i'm kind of aware of how much yarn i use see the the tail is completely hidden if your tail is longer than this don't um don't catch it over here we're going here now we're going to the next gap just leave it here and cut it later because if you have this tail all the way here, it will appear on top of this, this little stitches, and that's not pretty, especially if it's a different color. So let's leave it, leave it there. So this is important. Now we're doing this side, and from now on, we're repeating what we're doing now for the rest of the square. So we just finished the, the corner. You will do one chain stitch, and we will do the three um, double crochets in every single gap. So every single middle gap, there's three double crochets. So one, my voice is not it, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> one, two, I've always been like very self-conscious about my voice. And three, um, let's leave some yarn. So three, and now you will go to the corner. So every corner, we do another corner. So let's do another corner in this corner. A corner in the corner. So three double crochets. One. Two. Do not lose. Three. Ah, I keep losing it. <laughs> three, and then corner. One, two, three chain stitches, and another three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then one chain stitch, and next gap. So this is how we're going to go for the rest of this granny square. For my granny squares, I have seven rolls. So seven complete rolls around. 
Um, but, you know, if you use a thicker yarn, you might just need three, you might just need four or five. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, yeah, so another chain stitch, another corner, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Corner three, ah, three, and again one, two, and three. So, guys, what do you like listening to when you crochet? Like, do you like catching up with movies, TVs, or is it just podcasts? Let me know. Grant it. So let's not lose our loops. So, you know, we just chained. Let's go in the gap. One, two, and three. Chain one, corner. One, two, and three corner two three do not lose do not lose three three double ah. one two and three Yay. Now, last middle side thing. Uh, I know what that sound was. I'm so sorry. It wasn't a burp, though. One. Uh, two. And three. And chain and grab it on the other side. Yay. And now, because we are continuing with the same color, we'll just go ahead and walk with the yarn. So hook over the next loop like this, grab it over, just pass it through again the next one and once more and now we repeat so if you look at it now we have two gaps in every side one two one two one two oh my god doing this looking through the camera makes it so not neat and i'm sorry about that usually i have a little bit of a neater crochet know what's happening it's the camera it's looking through a camera it's complicated but yeah now we have a square so now on the next roll, every single time we get to a um a like little hole, we do three double crochets. So three double crochets here, and then you do an extra slip stitch here, slip stitch, chain stitch. I'm sorry, and then another three double crochets here, and then here we do another gap, and you just do that over and over and over until you have the desired sized square. Um, and I, now I'll just kind of talk, and <laughs> if you need to mute me, mute me, that's fine. I don't really have anything interesting to say, so, yeah, let's start by chaining three. As I was saying, what do you guys do if you are, like, a normal crochet, like, a, a regular crocheter to spend your time? Like, while you crochet, do you, like, catch up on movies and series? I personally cannot crochet while I'm watching, like, things for the first time. Like, and I'm just gonna watching things for watch's sake. I cannot crochet because I need to pay attention. I'm someone who, like, pays attention to, like, whatever whatever they're watching. So, for me, a crochet is podcast, audiobooks. Actually, I just started, you know, following, listening to audiobooks. And it's amazing. Like, so as I was saying, podcasts, audiobooks, music... Not that good of music. I get bored of just listening to music. Maybe that's because I listen to the same music 
over and over and over and over and over again. Like li literally on my playlist right now, just Shania Twain, the old school Shania Twain though, because I'm just attached to it. You know, I know all the all the lyrics. I like singing to it. But sometimes it get boring. It does get boring. So podcasts and audiobooks, and sometimes I put some YouTube videos because people are doing like essays and commentary that you know you don't need to be watching watching you can just be listening so we're going to the next corner um yeah let me know or like if you're a first time crochet or if you never really crocheted before let me know your ex expectations like do you intend to <laughs> you know follow some podcasts or audiobooks or series i feel like for re-watching series and re-watching movies is fine to crochet but when i'm watching something for the first time like i just watched stranger things i couldn't crochet and i was finishing this i made some pens with these i was finishing these but i had to stop just to watch stranger things because i cannot crochet while i'm like actively watching something um but yeah <laughs> i also just started audiobooking is that, is that a term? Audiobooking or just like listening to audiobooks, listening to books while doing this as well. And it was fun. I listened to a book that's called Project Hail Mary. And it's amazing. It's like a sci fi and it's like set in space. It's so cool. Like, really, I don't know if I, like, I should say, I don't think I should say much about it, but it's about like, a catastrophe happening in earth and there needs to be like an interstellar space mission to save earth and it's really interesting and i love it being narrated because like i had listened to like books being narrated by like the robot on youtube you know how people will get the pdf make a robot robot read it and just put it on youtube i had listened to that before but it's not the same thing because an audiobook, like in, in like Audible or something like that. I said that's so weird. Audible. Audible. Not Audible. <laughs> um, yeah, like a, a book read on Audible, it has like the whole like acting. You know, the whole voice acting. That it's really important, you know. Like in this book that I listened to, there's like a rob robot. It's not a robot, but it's like a being that is not from earth i don't want to spoil anyone and he has like a a weird voice and it's narrated like in the in the audiobook that is you know used <laughs> and it's interesting it's just interesting like it gives dimension to, to the book i guess i said i was going to be talking but i really didn't like come up with like good talking points that would be that interesting so i might just put the royalty free music like i didn't want to because it feels like it feels lazy to just put royalty free music but again i'm just showing you how to crochet these so it might not need to be like that you know that deep it's just just to follow along real time crochet square with the tiniest hook possible that needs time to be done because it's, you know, very tiny. <laughs> I thought about talking about something, though. Let's talk about my nails. I just painted my nails to film this. I mean, an hour ago. And I was, like, very scared that it would smudge because I'm, you know, crocheting. And I had to go with, like, three layers because it's a light coverage, light color kind of nail polish you know but i think it worked out fine i mean there are definitely some bad bad parts of it but it's okay oh there's something i wanted to say i just you know i started posting on this youtube channel recently and i got a few subscribers from the last video that was literally like more than a month ago because that i posted because i had to you know i i was taking a lot of time to do these videos that i'm posting like this week and the next one and, you know, life as well. So I couldn't post sooner. But in the meantime, I got subscribers. And, I don't know, like 120 subscribers. Which, in the grand scheme of YouTube... Oh, I'm, I'm joining it. 
here and now I'm cutting it. Okay, let me talk about that later. Let's just change colors, change colors, important. Um, so I just joined it. Let's do the whole slip knot. Let's cut it. Oh my God, be careful with your square. Cut it, pull it through, small tail, needle. Let's put the needle through. Here. Oh my god, that was silent. But like a motorbike just walked through. I lost my little thing. Okay, I found it. I lost this soda. I had like four of these when I started this project. And I have one broken one. So that's upsetting. Um. and get it here my voice i don't know if you can tell it's starting to like not function i don't have a good voice um pull it through here yay and now it's hidden and let's go for a nice call let me just drink some water oh and just for some um interest just let me show you this is for rolls with this tiny tiny hook and this is four rows with a three millimeter, I mean, not three, yeah, three millimeter hook. Let me see if I have it, yeah. So this hook, I think I used it. okay, so that's this hook. See, this is the difference, and this is the difference. <laughs> so, yeah, like, complicated situation, but, yeah. This is too two yarns of this white one and it's just a different yarn so yeah difference massive uh, let's go for a green just one a little green sorry if i'm making mouth sounds i know some people don't like that i'm so sorry but I'm, i have to like breathe um slip knot <laughs> i'm sorry um go to a different so we just finished it here let's go to a different one go to this one doesn't matter which one but you know just going around grab the knot the loop that's it true ah three up one two three and let's do this corner so two double crochets one, two, one, two, corner, one, two, three, three double crochets. Let's not forget to grab this little tail. One, two, no, let it fall. Two and three. Amazing. Now, chain one and let's one, two, three. And then next corner. Let's just keep on going with it. As I said, like take 45 minutes to do it like on my own. And this will probably take like an hour with me talking through it, which, you know. I'm hoping it's a good enough explanation for you guys to get it. I really am. It's my first, like, tutorial like this. I hope, like, I don't know, like, if you, like, if it's not, if there's something that is bothering you about my way of explaining, um, it's probably going to be my mannerisms. You guys are probably going to not like my mannerisms. My, like, woohoos and yays, but I cannot stop that. Apart from that, if there's, like, a, a anything that is missing from my, my explanation, let me know because I want to improve. I like this tutorial making fashion related crochet fiber arts situation that I'm, you know, kind of creating here. Yeah, as I was saying, my channel grew to 120 subscribers, which, yes, it's not like gigantic in YouTube terms. I know. But like, I literally started from zero because like my friends don't follow me because like I just don't tell them my. <laughs> my youtube handle and i don't know i literally started from zero so to have 121 in today's date uh people subscribing to my channel 
and there are like more than 3,000 people that um, looked at my last video makes me very happy and makes me very excited like to continue doing this I know it's a little it's not like it feels like a lot like I know that we're used to big numbers with social media we used to like millions and, and billions and, and a lot but a hundred people is a lot 3,000 people is a lot of people. Like, I don't know 3,000 people in real life. I barely know 100. <laughs> no, I mean, I probably do know 100. But, like, are there 100 people that I talk to on a daily basis? No. So it feels like a lot of people. And, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for any of you who are watching this that decided to subscribe. And... Yeah, that's it. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you a lot. And I hope I'm, I'm helping out with your crochet journey. This channel is not going to be just crochet, by the way. Like, I know my last video was crochet. And this, there are going to be a few crochet videos in the next, like, couple of days, weeks. Because I was doing this, like, big, big project. I finally finished. But this channel, it's not going to be just crochet. Because... I'm not even that good in crochet. I literally just started doing it. Like, I wanted to do these pants because this is what I'm doing. These four pants. And I had to learn. I had to, like, YouTube how to do granny squares and learn how to do this, like, literally like, five months ago. So, this channel is not going to be just crochet, but it's going to be DIY fashion. Like, mostly, purely. I don't intend to do anything else in this channel. And I hope you're interested. I'm very much, like, into the textile arts. Um, textile making when it comes to fashion. I am kind of good-ish. I don't know. It feels weird saying I'm good at this. But anyway, I'm kind of good at uh, machine machine knitting. So I have, like... I dabble with textile arts a lot, just not crochet. And this is what I hope to bring to this channel, you know, like textile arts, fashion things, like creative kind of challenges and not challenges in like a weird, but like creative quests, like creative, I don't know, <laughs> creative things that have to do with like fashion and making clothing. But I do hope to bring a lot of tutorial here if people like the tutorials that I'm making and I'm providing because it might not be helpful. You know, I'm just here crocheting and I hope you're crocheting with me, but you might not. You might just be watching this because you like, you might not be listening. There might be no one listening to me because I literally told you <laughs> in the very beginning of this video that you could move me if you desire because you hate my voice or because you hate whatever I'm talking about. So and also, like, I've been talking for, like, so long. It's it's understandable if you if you can't, if you do not want to listen to me. <laughs> because I don't know if I want to listen to myself. Oh, my God. I will edit this. I will be so annoyed at myself. Because, you know, there's just so much one can listen from themselves. I do talk to myself a lot. Is that... Is that taboo? Should I say that? Do I sound crazy? I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's an, an unusual thing to talk to yourself. Like really, realistically, who here does talk to themselves? I mean, I am on a an as aspiring aspiring YouTuber, so I do talk to myself a lot on like the things that I would talk on my video. But sometimes I just have full on discussions with myself, kind of out loud. I think I'm a bit crazy, but am I the only one? Like, am I the only one who speaks to herself? It's just about things. Sometimes I need to discuss and I don't have anyone to discuss. So <laughs> I will talk to myself kind of like now, but I now I'm filming and I have this excuse of like, oh, I'm putting it on YouTube. So it's it's not like I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to the people who are subscribing to me. Um, But <laughs> maybe, just maybe, I'm crazy. I don't think so, though. I think it's a normal thing to talk to oneself because I need to, you know, use my vocal cords and I don't have that, that much of a social life where I'm always talking to people. You know, I have to talk to people every day, but I like, I like talking a lot, as you can tell. I like talking a lot. I'm so sorry that I don't, I should bring up 
conversation topics i just don't know because like i really don't want to be like political i really don't want to be like to i, I don't want to be a commentary channel that ha has crochet on the background this is just like a supporting video to my main video of the granny square crochet pants and a granny square crochet um blouse crop top that i did so like yeah i don't i don't really plan on, on making this like a podcast a crochet with me podcast even though i think this is like, interesting i don't know if are there people who do this because there are like people who draw and, and do commentary there are people who i don't know game and do commentary but i've never really seen someone crochet and do commentary though i don't think i have that much of like valuable and taste to do like a whole full-on commentary closing it just closed it yay now i will cut this off because i'm just doing one of these if you can tell like only one see this is two two and one and now we're going for the last two yes so little knot pull it through just to, uh, firm it pull it back be careful because i took the hook out don't take the hook out if you're doing this because you're going to lose it pull it with the hook on scissors cut it be careful of your square don't damage your square don't do what i'm doing don't rest your scissors on your square cut it careful be careful you don't want to do not want to ruin your last 45 minutes of work square let's tuck it in tucking it in Woohoo! this is such a silent silent part i'm sorry uh, Honestly, if you're doing this with, like, big yarn, thick yarn, I feel like you could do, like, a full-on cushion, like, cover with, like, seven rolls with, like, thicker yarn. But this is not, this is not me. So, square. Yay. So, now let's go for the last color, the brown. So, two... Two rolls of brown. Slip knot. Ah. I would just cut a little bit of the tail because I feel like it's too much for me. We're we're already, you know, used to each other, you know, that I don't like tails. So woo. I've been saving this. I think I want to do like one of those scrap um scrap yarn blouses wait let me just start okay so corner through get the loop little loop over here make sure it's like tight so you don't have like loose thing pull it over chain three ah don't do what i just did do not Bring it over again to start all over because it's the best course of action. Hold it. Now let's do it. One, two, three. Let's go. Corner. Okay, so as a, what, what was I saying? I was saying something that I thought I wanted to say. Apparently not. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, I, I really wanted to talk about whatever I was talking. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> just forgot oh yeah i was talking about like the scrap that i wanted to yeah i saved because i'm one of those annoying people like listen if you if you're not up to like saving your little bitty pieces of yarn don't like i really am not like a purist like i don't think our little scraps of yarn are going to make that big of a difference in environmental change like yeah be conscious whenever you can but if you need a hobby to take you out of you know whatever life has thrown into you and you just cannot care for the little bitty pieces of yarn that you're cutting off that's okay do not save it it's okay but i 
have been doing fashion clothes clothes things for a while and i'm just that kind of person that saves all of her trash all of it <laughs> to hopefully make something <laughs> and i kind of want to make videos about it in this channel like i kind of want to make like um taking care of my you know trash <laughs> my textile waste and creating some things and it's something that i really want to make in the channel but maybe one day i don't know not now because i don't have that time for that right now but um uh, it's something that i really would like to do and with this because i have a lot of like itty bitty little pieces like this especially from when i joined all of these squares together and from the very beginning when i wasn't using this um um this small tail technique because i was just learning i have a few of a few threads like this very small itty bitty little pieces of yarn thread laying around and i just joined them they are all in the same place and i want to make one of those scrap art where you like kind of put them all together and i just go through it with um sewing like from a machine you just sew it and i'm just kind of taking the knot and you just kind of um stitch them together like on top of each other so you created another textile i think that would be cool i, I know i've never done that and there's like this paper that you can buy that would technically be creating more waste because you have to buy the paper and it comes in whatever it comes in a truck and there's like the packaging whatever whatever so but there's this paper that you can sew on top of and you can pass it through water so you can throw it on the water oh my god let me just take this knot out and i'll come back and talk to you <laughs> okay i'm back i just spent like nine minutes detangling this yarn and um it's not even fully untangled that's the big problem of like working with thin yarn on top of like it takes longer to do everything and it's just so tiny your hands cramp you also like it's it's more prone to tangling like any yarn it's prone to tangling like i'm used to like in my um knitting machine knitting class i was known as the person who like tangled all of her yarn because i used to dye yarn a lot and no one ever taught me how to properly dye yarn i still don't really know how to properly i just kind of drew it in um but because of that i just it would get tangled and i would go to my like knitting class with like a, a bunch of tangled yarn and everyone in the class would help me out to detangle it but <laughs> and then in the like the very last day of class we all had like a get together to like end the class and we had like a secret santa because it was christmas time and <laughs> they gave me like a like a container full of tangled yarn <laughs> like it was just like my gift was like a container and inside the container was like a bunch of just yarn tangled together and then underneath the yarn there was like a few um knitting like utensils like um the things that you use in a knitting machine i forgot the name of everything right now but it was a very useful gift apart from the tangled yarn but yeah i'm known as the person who like, tangles yarn constantly um yeah i was talking about the um, this video is all messed up i was talking about the water soluble thing that is like a thing i don't know what it is like a paper but like you can sew on top of it i only saw it online i've never bought it you can sew on top of it and then you wash it and you have like whatever like it, it dissolves so like you you only like for example i wanted to set a bunch of yarn just like on a table sew on top of it and to do that i would set all of the yarn on top of that paper that is soluble it's like a fabric paper i don't know what it is again <laughs> and then i would just sew on top of it like crazy just like all like like this you know and then wash it and then i just be left with like a new fabric 
I don't know. I think it's a nice thing. I think people in like zero waste sewing do that kind of. Anyway, I'm kind of out of things to say. <laughs> that is, if anyone's listening. Um, yeah, let me know your podcast, like your favorite podcasts and like audiobooks and things that you can listen to whilst you crochet. Like what, what are you listening to? instead of me, then you wouldn't know, you wouldn't answer me because you're not, you're not listening to me. But if you weren't listening to me, what would you be listening? Like, I like, I, I would like to know because I have a lot of crochet projects ahead of me and I need, I need some good entertainment to do that. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure now it's the royalty free music part because I'm literally out of things to say and I still have to film like the half right after this um, video I will be posting a video on how to do half a crochet square and that's because I used that in the blouse that I did like the little crop top and also in a pants that I did just like the pattern oh my god I'm so out of focus I'm so so sorry I'm so sorry if you're following this along I didn't want to be out of <coughs> The center just a lot of things happen in the next last like five minutes i had to detangle the whole yarn and then um, my stepfather arrived and then my mom called me asking asking me if he had arrived and he had and it's 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 very confusing here like there's a lot of things happening and i'm just wanting to finish this square <laughs> oh my god silence finally Finally, this girl has stopped talking, annoying me with her voice and... Oh my god, I don't think you're thinking that about me. You might be, but I don't think you were going to comment that. You personally, you, you who are watching, I'm going to take this out. Like, this is so invasive. Such a, a rude commenter. Yeah, let's, we settle that I can't, I can't really be doing a podcast because... I don't have them. I mean, I think, okay, I'm not doing a podcast because, like, my voice cannot handle. But I think if I brought in some, some talking points, I could possibly talk a little bit more. Like, I just, I just, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm blanking. I do not have, I do not have things to say. I'll just stop and think a little bit after I finish this video on things to say so that in the next video that I'm filming right after this one, I have a little bit to, I have a little bit to talk to about like I have things to say you know because I don't <laughs> I mean did any of you watch Stranger Things I did it was really fun I mean it wasn't <laughs> a few deaths it's a little bit sad it's actually very sad there's a helicopter flying over it's not a helicopter it's actually a plane yeah, no, it's a helicopter. Too. It's a helicopter. There are several helicopter pads here in my surrounding area. And there's some dude. I mean, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. I assume it's a man just because he's so rude. He comes in with his little el helicopter at like 7 a.m., and I mean, I'm always awake at 7 a.m. So it doesn't really matter. Matter, matter, because I'm not sleeping. But he comes in with his little helicopter. Every day, around 7 in the morning. Just making a lot of sound. I mean, the last one, but guys. Last roll. Chain three. Double crochet. Double crochet. chain three <laughs> double crochet double crochet double crochet and as i was saying yeah this this person just arrives to work i guess with their little helicopter making a lot of sound a lot of noise in the surrounding area and then the helicopter has to leave because the helicopter doesn't even stay here and then, then again, at five, 5 in the afternoon, there will be another helicopter to probably pick that person up. 
That's what I am assuming. I don't know them. I don't I don't really get to see them getting in and out of the helicopter, but I yeah, they're they're just there and they make a lot of sound. Why are helicopters so loud? Is my question. I feel like they should be a little less noisy just for my <laughs> for my sake. I don't care. It's just for my well-being and the well-being of my ears ear canals how would you say that i don't know um another knot because i didn't i didn't untangle enough should be enough no it's not you should like if you have knots like this you might need to just like poke them with your needle be careful with your fingers and like try to take it off but be careful to not like tear like tear the, the the threads apart like you have to be careful especially if you're using something like i don't know i feel like acrylic's a little bit more sensitive if you do this kind of thing because cotton's a little bit sturdy see it's out yay it didn't take that long this time it's like a minute back to my square i was saying something i was talking about the helicopter and then i i i lost it i'm losing it it's a lot of time to I'm I have been speaking for like an hour. <laughs> if you're here, man, you're the one. <laughs> I have been speaking for like an hour. A whole hour. And you know, it's something. I'm I'm not yet without a voice, which for me it's an achievement. I'm someone who loses, like, I lose my voice so fast. I want to listen to it. Like, I will edit this video and just, like, put it up. <laughs> the difference between the very beginning and the very end of this video must be, like, gigantic. Because, yeah. Oh, like, let's talk about, let's talk about crochet. Let's talk about crochet. So, if you're just starting out on um, crochet and you're doing this, it's okay, first of all, if you take longer than me or you're faster, I'm, I'm glad if you're faster, like, that's good because you're going to finish things um, faster. But uh, be aware of tension because I feel like when we start out, we pull things a lot, like, very tight, and it makes a big difference. I think I'm going to talk about that in, like, my main video about the granny square crochet pants that I'm doing. But let me just show you. I'm, like, I'm showing you in, in the end because I'm just like in the groove here. But before I finish, I'll just show you the difference between like the very first few um, crochet squares that I did in comparison to like this ones that I'm finishing now. I used to like um, crochet so tightly that they they're like a whole centimeter smaller before than they are now. And it was harder because, like, if you pull too much, it's kind of hard. Like, things get hard. You don't, like, go with ease. And especially because, like, I use cotton. Cotton is a little bit of a stiffer yarn. Like, if you were to be doing this with um, acrylic, it's a lot smoother, I guess, to, like, for the yarn to, like, glide through the hook. Um, it's also like because it's more slippery you might be losing your stitches like a little bit more just like letting them off of the hook but then you just catch them like you saw me doing a few times um and yeah like i used to like pull some the ah, pull on them so much and create so much tension that they were so tiny but it was so hard to crochet because like if you if you tighten too much like it doesn't it doesn't really glide through so it's a little bit hard so you know if you're having that kind of a difficulty like if you're looking at me doing it and you're like oh my god like why why is her so smooth and so like careless first of all i've been doing this i done i've done more than 200 of this exact square but also um try like using a little bit less tension like a little bit less of like pulling very hard and like just be a little bit like loose with your crocheting that might help um also just do it a few times just do it 200 times <laughs> and you might get you might get it you know or not i don't know i kind of want to do like now that i've done this 
I don't want to do granny squares for like a few weeks, maybe a few months. But I kind of want to do this project of like doing one granny square crochet. Like a different one every day for like a year. Maybe I could do that. Maybe that would be fun. Because imagine, like that would be cool. And like maybe doing like a live, if I had time to do that, it'd be great. Like to have like a live video crochet with me with some actual topic like conversation points and just doing like a different crochet every day a different a different granny square i have to be very careful with that though because a lot of people just like create their own granny squares and i don't want to be like doing something without permission of like the owner or without acknowledging and sometimes crochet has been around for so long that like sometimes you just see something on pinterest or like online and you don't know who created it like i just did this um granny square pants and i don't truly know like if there's someone made it first i mean obviously someone made it first but like did they get inspired was it like an original idea or like did they see something like where like who was the first person who do to do granny square crochet pants i don't know man it's complicated but i would love to do like lives live granny square crochet doing it's like a craft with me hour or so or like less less half an hour i don't know depending on the size of yarn that would be great maybe one day in the channel i could do that <laughs> i'm overachieving a lot for like someone who got 100 like i got my first 100 subscribers and i'm like oh my god i could do live channels and <laughs> and a lot of things of that but like you know your girl can dream your girl can dream anyway i'm almost finishing the very last row so this is the very last corner that we're drawing one two and then three double crochets one two three chains let's go again one two and three I'm sorry. I don't I didn't mean to scare you. Let's do the last one, two, three, four, five. Five times three. Fifteen. Next last fifteen double crochets. One, two, three, single crochet, um, chain crochet. Four. Oops. Four five seven eight should i count like backwards nine i will count backwards let's just see how many okay six Oh my god, my yarn got caught. It got caught. Okay, six, five, <clears throat> four, ch uh, chain, three, <gasps> three, two. Now we just do another slip stitch pull it with you know with force and i don't know <laughs> cut it be careful pull it through it's just my posture i've been doing this standing up so this was good I don't know, a good standing hour for me. Because I did the, all of this standing up. And I'm still filming another one. Needle through. Needle through. Let's pull it. Ah. Uh, do not fail on me right now, bestie. Okay, got it. In. 
fits in here. Yay. Let's spool it. Oh, yeah. It's done, besties. I hope you did yours as well. I hope it turned out amazing. If it didn't, let's just watch this video again <laughs> and follow with me. Give me some watch hours. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I do, but you don't need to watch it if, unless you do. I don't know. Um, we're done. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it all the way through this video, I hope it was helpful. I hope you did an amazing granny square crochet and show me it. Post a picture of it on my Instagram. Tag me or like just send me on DM. I would love to see. I would love to know if I help anyone um, in their crochet journey. So yeah, I'm leaving my social media down here somewhere here. And I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I hope I didn't bore you to death if you decided to listen to me all the way through. <laughs> anyway, bye-bye. See you in the next one.